non technical track bis skill to exam about and topics hello friends welcome back to smart as a tech study so in this video we are discussing what is bis skill to non technical track and its syllabus and also i am discussing its uh, one topic which is personal mastery working with agility in the next video complex problem solving capabilities and uh, persuasion and influencing skills i will be discussed so bis skill to exam duration is one hour number of questions are 40 so pass marks is 28 plus and uh, distinction marks is like uh, 70 percentile so 32 to 38 between you need to get basically in business skill to only three topics are there if you prepare these three topics you are able to achieve distinction surely so the topics are b2 personal mastery working with agility and the second topic is complex problem solving skills and the third topic is persuasion and influencing skills marks are questions according to topic so for, for the first topic which is b2 13 to 14 questions will come b3 and b6 also same so total questions are 40 in this 40 if you are able to get 30 to 36 then you are achieving the digital milestone so then you are achieving the distinction cadre so personal mastery b2 topics first we will discuss the topics and then we will go through each of the topic so first one is what is personal mastery and uh, second seven pathways to personal mastery and the third one and most important one is growth mindset or developing growth mindset for five are four ways to become result driven worker and ownership and accountability and the sixth and sixth most important topic is like a 10 barriers to team communication and the seventh topic six steps to break down barriers to communication eighth one agile mindset or model for agile software development ninth topic is four essential attributes to agile mindset and the tenth one is what is devops benefits components of devops features of devops seven key principles of devops like that and the one five to develop growth mindset so we will go by go with one by one what is personal mastery the personal mastery is the ongoing journey of self improvement it is like a self improvement and self awareness to achieve growth and excellence personal mastery also defines being clear about your life being clear about your life purpose and direction other definition of personal mastery are personal mastery teaches how to think why you act the way you do finally it helps you it helps to developing and taking responsibility of your own behavior or attitude and also personal mastery guides you to be aware with your beliefs attitude and behavioral impacts and the second most important topic is seven pathways to personal mastery so basically in the mcq questions how many pathways to become a to achieve personal mastery so you, in that you need to choose the seven so first one is personal vision personal values personal purpose and fourth one is personal alignment personal purpose. perception and uh, personal perception sixth one personal awareness seventh one and last one is personal transformation so third topic is like uh, developing growth mindset so how do you develop the growth mindset so you should be result orientation you need to be you need to take ownership and accountability of your work collaboration way of working and agile mindset and the fourth important topic is four ways to become result driven worker so in the mcqs they will be given one or two and uh, three four are wrong answers so you need check check the one two because that is M- msq multiple sided question so four ways to become result driven worker will be work on project where you can measure your result <laughs> so the bench people you should be work on a project where you can measure your result turn everything you do into case study so in your day to day life what you have so today you have developed one api and you have developed one ui screen like that you need to be case study you need to write those into your notepad or in notebook what you have done or you can write weekly ones also what you have done in the in the week so find ways to measure outcomes improve your work style so you need to improve your work style so ownership and accountability what is ownership and accountability ownership and accountability teams and individuals should take the accountability of quality and success of both the output and outcome of their work another definition of accountability it is third party responsibility so you will be responsible for your the team and for your 
respectively ownership and a self responsibility this is 100% you are taking your responsibility and the next important topic is 10 barriers to team communication so 10 most common barriers to effective team communication first one is physical separation second one lack of contact among team members third one is gender difference fourth one generation difference cultural diversity language difference and uh, difference in values benefits a lack of trust a la- noise information noise and information overload both comes in one so in mcqs they will ask you what are the communication barriers so they will only put one in this list and uh, three are wrong so you have to pick the right common barrier in that list next question next topic is six steps to break down barriers to communication next topic six steps to break down barriers to communication so first one is model effective team communication and the second step is clear your expectations third one is observe and record team communication fourth one is gather input from your team fifth one is identify barriers to communication and name them sixth step to background barriers to communication is explicitly teach communication skills so next topic mental model for agile mindset or software development mindset first one is empowerment flexibility communication and collaboration iterative development fifth one is continuous improvement efcic code for mental model for agile mindset and the four four essential attributes to agile mindset first one is cognitive agility social agility personal and professional agility change agility so in mcqs there are three right answers in this in this uh, essential attributes they will give and one is wrong so you have to choose the in ms two question you have to choose the three right answers among this so this is the diagram for that social agility like that basic diagram attributes for developing agile mindset now the next topic is what is devops benefits and components of devops what is devops and benefits of devops and components of devops will be discussed here so basically devops is a combination of development and operations and the promised benefits of devops are increased trust for faster software release ability to solve critical issues ability to solve critical issues quickly better manage and planned work and the essential components of devops are automation continuous integration and delivery transparency talent monitoring cultural changes or changes towards collaboration and sharing responsibility next topic five important attributes of devops mindset devops mindset so important attributes from a devops mindset is feedback from stakeholders is essential second one improve beyond limits third one is no new no your customer or client fifth important one is encourage adoption through enthusiasm so these are the five important attributes of devops mindset so in this there might be a chance of mcq one mcq will come in this attributes of devops mindset and the next essential one is seven key principles for successful devops culture so in this seven any one will become in mcqs so what are these seven key principles for principles for successful devops culture first one is force collaborative environment second one is impose end to end responsibilities third encourage continuous improvement fourth one is automate almost everything fifth one is focused on customer or client needs sixth one is embrace failures and learn from it and the uh, last one is unit team and expertise and the next one is 25 ways to develop growth mindset this is also one of the important topic in business skill day business skill to what are the 25 ways to develop a growth mindset first one is acknowledge and embrace imperfections so if you have any imperfections first you need to identify them and you need to acknowledge those imperfections hiding from your weakness means you will never overcome them so you need to hide from others but you need to no, you should not hide from your mistakes from yourself so first one is identify your weakness or imperfections and try to perfect it second one is view challenges as opportunities having growth mindset means releasing the opportunities for self improvement so challenges in the in the project you, you will get lots of challenges in day to day operations so view the challenges as opportunities to enhance your knowledge and enhance your skill set third one is try different learning tactics tactics and methods so different learning tactics follow the research on brain 
plasticity fifth one is replace the word failing with the word learning so don't don't so failing don't give you success but learning will make you success sixth one is stop seeking approval when you pri- prioritize approval over learning you sacrifice your own potential for growth so don't try to please anyone try to be potential for your potential growth seventh one is value the process over the end result so you in the preparation the process is happening so you need to value your preparation of this skill to over the end result which is a distinction intelligent people enjoy the learning process and don't mind when it continues beyond an, an expected time frame and the next one is cultivate a sense of purpose in twix research also showed that students with a growth mindset had a great sense of purpose keep the big picture in mind so you your purpose should be get a digital character so you so that's why you are preparing for big skill 2 in step 2 or your purpose will be a digital or innovator character so that is your purpose and that's why you are learning this course and the next one is celebrate growth with others so this means after after getting digital or innovator you need to celebrate growth with your friends and family members Tenth one is emphasize growth over speed. So growth is important here rather than speed. Eleventh one is reward actions, not trait traits. Twelfth, define genius. Portray criticism as positive. So in the process of learning, you will get some criticism like uh, and this is tough, that is tough, like that. So ignore that and be positive all the time. Fourteenth one is disassociate improvement from failure. So you need to be associate improvement from and remove the failure. Provide regular opportunities for reflection. Place effort before talent. So first one is you need to put your effort and talent automatically will come. Seventeenth one. Highlight the relationship between learning and brain training. Uh, next one is cultivate grit, strength of character. Nineteenth one is abound on the image. Use the word at get to done, get to be done like that. Learn from other people mistakes. So if a mist- if a people is got uh, some mistakes, you need to be learn from them. Make a new goal for every goal accomplished. After accomplishing one goal, if you have cracked digital. So the next goal should be innovative like that. So take risks in the company of others. Think realistically about time and effort. Take ownership over your attitude. So in you, for your attitude, you need to take your ownership. So these are the top 25 ways to develop a growth mindset. So remember these top 25 ways, these questions, uh, any one of the way will come in MCQ question. So another important topic is five behaviors of a cohesive team. So the five behaviors are trust conflict commitment accountability and result so we shall go through one by one what is trust establish trust between team members in your team you should be establish a trust so the person is very good and he is very responsible for his work like that conflict engage in a conflict around ideas in your ideas you should be conflict not in words or actions commitment commit to decisions you should commit to your decisions Fourth one is accountability. Be accountable and hold others accountable. So first you should be accountable and try to be try and try to hold others accountable. Result produce results as a achievement. So these are the this is the like uh, pillars or a pyramid. Trust, conflicts and debate, commitment, accountability, and final one is result. Results produce results as a achievement. And next topic is agile team. So it has below percent. So in the next topic, we will discuss what is agile team, agile sprint time, and consultative mindset. So what is agile team? It has below teams like a leadership team, initiative owner, process facilitator, facilitator, innovation team. So agile sprint time. So basically, agile sprint in one to four weeks. So most of the agile sprints are two weeks or three weeks. Each task is tracked using Kanban board or Azure, Microsoft Azure by dividing into categories like uh, yet to be done in progress completed uh, like that status. Discover, design, develop, integrate, test, discover and uh, again design, develop, integrate. So agile mindset should have cognitive agility, professional and personal agility, change agility and social agility. Now the question. Now the next one is consultative mindset. So in the consultative mindset, shifting from what to do to how to do. In consultative mindset, C three A, C three B are belongs to consultants in our organization. So identify problem, hypothesis, analysis, and research recommendation. So here, VUCA is there. Volatility means temporary, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity is also comes under the 
కన్సల్టేటివ్ మైండ్ సెట్ సో ద నెక్స్ట్ మోస్ట్ అసెన్షియల్ అండ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ ఓజెట్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ అండ్ డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ అకౌంటబిలిటీ సో ఓజెట్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ సేస్ దాట్ ఏ పర్సనల్ చాయిస్ టు రైజ్ అబౌవ్ వన్ సర్కమ్స్టాన్సెస్ అండ్ డెమోన్స్ట్రేట్ ద ఓనర్షిప్ నెసెసరీ ఫర్ డెమోన్స్ట్రేట్ ద ఓనర్షిప్ నెసెసరీ ఫర్ అచీవింగ్ డిజైర్ రిజ డిజైర్డ్ రిజల్ట్స్ టు సీ ఇట్ ఓన్ ఇట్ సాల్వ్ ఇట్ అండ్ డూ ఇట్ అండ్ ద అకౌంటబిలిటీ సేస్ దట్ బీయింగ్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ ది కన్సర్న్డ్ ఆర్ యువర్ సూపర్వైజర్ ఆర్ యువర్ టీమ్ మెంబర్స్ అండ్ ద లాస్ట్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ ఫైవ్ స్టెప్స్ టు డెవలపింగ్ ఎ కంటిన్యూస్ లర్నింగ్ కల్చర్ సో క్రియేట్ ఎ మైండ్ సెట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఓపెన్ టు గ్రోత్ ద ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు డెవలపింగ్ ఎ కంటిన్యూస్ లర్నింగ్ మైండ్ సెట్ టీచ్ పీపుల్ హౌ టు గివ్ గ్రేట్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ థర్డ్ వన్ ఈస్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ ఎయిట్ డిగ్రీ డెవలప్మెంట్ రివ్యూస్ సెట్ లర్నింగ్ గోల్స్ విత్ ఇన్ టీమ్స్ స్టార్ట్ ఎ పీ టు పీ కోచింగ్ ఎకో సిస్టమ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ సక్సెస్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ అకౌంటబిలిటీ ట్రస్ట్ అండ్ హెల్దీ విజన్ సో సక్సెస్ ఈజ్ సిస్టమ్ సో సక్సెస్ ప్రాసెస్ ఆర్ సిస్టమ్ అకౌంటబిలిటీ మోటివేషన్ ఎస్ఏఎమ్ సిస్టమ్ అకౌంటబిలిటీ అండ్ మోటివేషన్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ యూ సక్సెస్ అండ్ సిస్టమ్ ప్లస్ అకౌంటబిలిటీ ప్లస్ నో మోటివేషన్ ఈజ్ లైక్ కాంప్లాన్స్ డన్ థింగ్స్ లైక్ రోబాట్ అండ్ సిస్టమ్ ప్లస్ నో అకౌంటబుల్ ప్లస్ మోటివేషన్ ఈజ్ డెక్లైన్ యూ హ్యావ్ సిస్టమ్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ అకౌంటబిలిటీ అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ మోటివేషన్ సో దిస్ మీన్స్ యూ విల్ బి డెక్లైన్ ఇన్ సమ్ టైమ్ సిస్టమ్ జీరో అకౌంటబిలిటీ ఇస్ దేర్ అండ్ ప్లస్ మోటివేషన్ ఇస్ దేర్ సో రిజల్ట్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్కన్సిస్టెంట్ ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ బికాస్ నో అకౌంటబిలిటీ స్కిల్స్ కెన్ బీ థాట్ బట్ రైట్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్హెరిటెంట్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ట్రస్ట్ కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ ఇన్ అనదర్ వోన్స్ ఎబిలిటీ టు హెల్ప్ అస్ అచీవ్ ఎ రిజల్ట్ కాన్ఫిడెంట్ ఇన్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ ఆల్స్ నో ఎస్ ట్రస్ట్ హెల్దీ విజన్ ఇంక్లూడ్స్ టైమ్ ఫ్రేమ్ ఆల్వేస్ so healthy vision should have a time frame so your vision is to get uh, may your vision is to get clear may wings one then you have a healthy vision if your vision is to get digital cadre or innovator cadre the, then it is not time frame then it does not have healthy vision so conclusion conclusion of the first topic personal mastery an individual who attained personal mastery would be able to rise self awareness self acceptance and self responsibility so this is all about the uh, first topic b2 personal mastery working with agility in the ne- next video i will do complex problem solving capabilities and and uh, persuasion and influencing skills also in the last topic in the last video in this series i will provide you important mcq video if you like the video then hit a like do subscribe and uh, give your feedback for this video what are your expectations in your uh, upcoming video i will cover that so if this video is good for you then make a comment and if you need any other topics then also make a comment and if you have any doubts related to wings one then book a session with me just it is just 149 and if you need a wings one complete a to z coaching for one month it is just 2999 and for 3 months wings one data complete coaching it is like 8999 so i will provide this link in the description and connect with me and resolve your doubts or queries so this is all about business skill 2 part 1 video we shall meet in another super latest video until then jai hind jai bharat